Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp for iPad Square One, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp for iPad. Today, we're going to talk about the Rectangle Tool. So we started with some of the most fundamental input tools, drawing lines and erasing them. Uh, I would say immediately after lines comes rectangles. Um, this is because, I mean, the, a primary use of SketchUp for iPad, we can be used to model anything, but a lot of buildings get drawn in SketchUp and rectangle is a key tool for drawing, you know, rectangular things like buildings. Not to say all buildings have to be rectangular, not to say we can only draw rectangular buildings, but there's a lot of rectangles out there in those kinds of models. So we're going to hop in today, not only how it works, uh, but, but some of the other options you have with it and how to input it with all the different methods. So let's stop talking and hop into rectangle. All right. So just like the other videos, we're going to talk first about the different ways you can actually input a rectangle. So first thing we'll do is we'll look at inputting a rectangle with an Apple Pencil and we'll start with Just Draw Mode. In just draw mode, well in any mode, when you click the rectangle, you get the little fly out. We'll come back and we'll cover each of these icons on the sub menu in just a minute. First, I wanna talk about just basic input. How do you input something with the rectangle? So in just draw mode, I'm just gonna put my pencil on the iPad and draw. What this is gonna do is it's gonna create a rectangle from the first point, the point where I started, to the point where I end. And then when I release, I got a rectangle. Now, any of the modes we talk about, we're going to talk about different ways to input these rectangles. Anytime you put in a rectangle, you have the option of clicking into this dimensions field. This will bring up a number pad. And in here, you can specify exactly how big you want this rectangle to be. So if I need to be 10 foot by 12 foot, I could type 10 foot, comma, 12 foot, and hit enter. And there we go. I got that. Again, any of the modes, I'm showing it the first time, but it's the same if I'm in click, move, click, if I'm in touch or if I'm using a mouse to input, doesn't matter. Speaking of which, let's look at some different ways to create rectangles. I'm gonna go up here to my preferences and I'm gonna to change to click, move, click. All right, very similar, except I need to hard press to start and then hard press to place the rectangle. Same thing, I can create dimensions if I want to at that point. All right, let's create one with touch, putting the pencil away. All right, so with touch, I'm gonna to do the same thing long press, long press, opposite corners. Every time you're always gonna create one corner and then another corner. And then finally, we'll take a look at using the mouse. Now, just like the other commands, as soon as you start the mouse, you get the little cursor shows up and this is pretty simple. I click and then move and then click to create that rectangle. So there's our four different methods of input. Let's talk about some of these options we have over here. Um, so these are the very similar to the other, other options we've seen show up in like line and that sort of thing. I do at the bottom have the, the help. So if I click that, it'll bring up a short video that shows how to use rectangle in case you forget, in case, you know, somehow this video doesn't stick with you for the rest of your life. If you ever need a refresher, that's what the little mortar board is there. The other options are the inferencing options. So I have the red, green, blue, and magenta inference, and this is just going to lock into a specific plane when you draw the rectangle. I'm gonna switch back to just draw mode. It's my preferred method of input. And I'm gonna say I wanna lock, draw a rectangle on the green axis. So you can actually see that little, the little cursor icon right there flipped up to the green axis. So I'm drawing perpendicular to this green axis. So now if I draw, it's just gonna draw it like that. If I click red, same thing, it's just gonna let me draw red. And then blue, of course, is that's actually what I've been drawing. Um, if you don't have, if you're not locked in looking at a specific plane, uh, the tendency is going to be for rectangle as you draw it to lay down like that. So there we go. Those are the basics of creating a rectangle in SketchUp for iPad. So that's about everything I can think about drawing a rectangle on SketchUp for iPad. A little bit different for those of you who are SketchUp Pro users. Uh, if you want to put in specific dimensions, like I said, we pointed that out, but uh, it is, you do have to put it in afterwards. So you draw a rectangle afterwards and then uh, put the dimension in when you're done. And 
we threw some rectangles on the ground, of course, inferencing all still works, snapping to points, but if you need a specific dimension, draw your rectangle first and then enter the exact dimension. In SketchUp Pro, you have the option of editing it first, but this way is the way, you know, this is the good stuff. Uh, if you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos a week around here and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly, they'll leave us a comment. What do you think of using rectangle on iPad versus Pro? We like making these videos a lot. We like it even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.